Okay, so in today's video we are <clears throat> dropping in line six. Uh, I got all new rings on here, freshly uh, cross hash boards with this J block. As you can see, I have the sequence numbered here. And it's really easy to get these uh, backwards or forward or whatever you want to call them. So I actually label them. I need to get them engraved. Uh, special thanks to Mike Heiss for giving me alignment. Of course, you want to have your, your key facing straight up. And then on top of that, uh, Let's see here. I'm going to have these screwing out. The first three screwing out. Four and five are the only ones that are different. They actually screw that way. And then this one screws this way. And as you see, I've numbered and up just because I'm an idiot. I just want to make sure I have the right side up. So when you put the compressors on, you want them uh, as high as possible on that last ring. And then when you're, when, you know, squeeze this, you want to make sure you get right there on that pin that keeps, that keeps the, uh, uh, ring from spinning and that's on both sides. You have two on this side and you have one I don't know if you can see it or not. That's like right there. All these actually this piston makes it a little bit easier. It has like a little divot. See that little divot right there? That's where the ring is. This is actually a low dome piston which I'm gonna put in number three. Here's the other side again with the divots so you can help line up the uh, the new rings. And as you can see, they are spot on. And again, you don't have to put these compressors on super tight, uh, but just take your time. Make sure you do it right. You know, uh, press on the back of the top and the bottom ones to get these to push forward, and then gently tighten this down. And then do the same for this. You want to use your thumbnail, just push it forward, and make sure that all these parts go in. Because if it's overlapping that pin just a little bit, it'll cause drag in here. Uh, potentially screwing up the entire operation. So that's what this video is all about. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and drop these things. Okay, so I have everything lined up. Uh, the tip is to have this right here on the top ring so you can lower it as far as possible. And the idea is to go one, two, three, I'm sorry, two, three, <laughs> two, three, uh, five, six, for one. One is going to be the last one to go in. Um, the f deeper you go, the, the harder it seems to be just because it's, you know, it's off center and things like that. But we're going to go ahead and start this process and get them through and go ahead and oil this. I'm using a stable fog oil, which I will put in the link below and the part numbers for the rings as well. All right, wish me luck. I'm about to do this. All right. Well, let's go. So I'm going to drop this slowly. Keep it somewhat in line here. We are professionals, right? Oh, no, let me just load it up. Okay, it seems like two is going in. There we go. Candidly, so once I get the number two on, I'm gonna release the rope and then just do everything manually. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can get this in uh, one try. Of course, sometimes it's except for tries. Okay, and again. All right, so two is in there. So I'm gonna loosen this up just a, a snidge. Okay. There we go. Two is in there. Now moving on. Three is in there. Now we're going on to number five. Five is in there. It's five. Okay, so I'm gonna do this slowly but sure. I'll take off. I'll take off the compressors. Okay. Let this slip a little bit. I'm gonna keep it as even as possible. Five is on the run, but let's go ahead and get, I'm sorry, let's go ahead and get number five in there. Try to even out the, even out the right, Five, five is in there, taking five off. Oh, shoot. Five is on. All right, so now we're on number six. Number six. Alright, six is going. Loosen it just a little, little bit. 
uh, to get this far in the process and knock the ball. The little piston six is going in. That's planned. Six is in. Now we're on number four, which looks like might give me a little bit of a problem. Maybe. I don't know. Let's pull this off. Up. Pins facing down. Tragedy. Okay, so I have this reed valve stuck. I should have had everything facing down just to prevent this from happening. But I was irresponsible. So. That would have been a smooth sailing ride. Okay, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, you see how this cage is just a little bit off? So that means I'm about to pull everything back up and redo the whole thing all over again. Okay, so I just pulled it up just to rotate that assembly. Okay, so now we're doing five. So five is out now. So we have the compressor on. So we're gonna try to keep everything in place here. That's still on point on the side. Oh man, that would have been a smooth, smooth sailing job there. Okay, so now we're compressing five. Okay, again, two, three, five. There we go. Alright, so five is in there now. I'm gonna release on this one. Bang. All right, so now we're going to go to number four. Okay, which I believe a ring might be sort of, I'm just going to give a little bit of a push. Let's see if I can pull this off. Last one. Looks like it's a little bit off. Oh. Everything. This pin is just sure you like to come up, don't they? Okay. Looks like number one's giving me problems here. Let's try to. Back this off for just a little bit. Get it back over the rings. Went off because it's a little bit on its tilt. So I'm gonna try to get these rings back in place. An easy slip down. Which is easy to set and not do. Alright, so let's lift this side up. Straight. Perfect, right? Okay. There we go. Okay, make sure everything's pointed down. Okay. We're almost there. Okay. It's one ring. 
I put the number five. Number six, rather. Rotate. Everything has to be pointed down. So I got one up right here. You can see the point. Not to lift it up. And rotate it down. Uh, uh, just a little bit more. Okay. Good. There we go. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to get the bearing carriers lined up here. The reed cages. Three. Five total. Basically, I got one reed cage. This is not. Let me get that in there. Okay, so. Here. Okay. Okay, that's. Everything else. Everything is in place, and as you can see, it's a straight line. Sorry, straight line for all these. So after you get done doing this, you want to check to make sure that there's a. You want to do it from the exhaust side, but we can push this table out. And you want to make sure that there's tension on all of the uh, new uh, <coughs> the new piston rings. That way, they're not locked up or anything like that. Otherwise, you have to pull everything you know back out and do it over again. So. Let me go ahead and uh, get a flywheel on here so I can rotate this uh, a little bit easier and then we'll test those springs. Okay, so what you want to do is go through and make sure there's a spring on every single one. That one pushes in. That one pushes in. That one pushes in. Okay, and then you want to do that for all six of them just to make sure that you have them right. Okay, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, short brief video on how to install uh, an actual uh, inline six. Hopefully I was uh, descriptive enough. Um, it did take me a couple of tries. I had to get things uh, right. Um, but a special thanks to Mike Heiss uh, for sending me the, uh, the actual order. <laughs> and again, the order can get mixed up, but uh, everything's, everything is tight. Okay, everything feels good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this thing back together and uh, we're gonna get on with it. Appreciate you guys, hey. Thanks for watching.